Hello educators, hope that you guys are well. It's now time to wind down because we are finishing up. School's coming to an end for this um, term. Right, what are you grateful for educators? I am grateful for the fact that I'm alive and I'm able to seek new opportunities. <clears throat> every day I'm learning something new from this pandemic and every day I'm learning from my students. <clears throat> As I say on all my programs, all the time, my students are my teachers. So that is something I'm so grateful for. They teach me in terms of how I should respond to them, how I should act. <clears throat> they teach me in terms of what I should look for. They teach me in terms of how I should um, deal with them and certain things I didn't see. So there's a lot I learned from my students. So that's what I'm grateful for. And I'm also grateful for life and the opportunity to do the things I didn't do yesterday, that I could do it today because I have life and I'm able to do that. And my wins, oh my goodness, as I keep saying, there's so many. Um, one of it is, I keep on saying I would not teach in an all um, one sex school, like either all female, all male, due to experience I had last week. But this week I'm teaching in a female school. Oh my goodness, it's been wonderful. These students are eager to learn, they love learning, and they're quiet, you know, it just makes a difference. So on those, no, on that note, I kind of changed my mindset in relationship to what I think or whether or not I would teach in a single sex school. So that's what's happened to me in terms of, you know, changing my mindset. Another thing is belief. Whenever you believe you are going to do something, you need to come with it fully. Believe with all your might, with all your energy, with every fiber of your body. It is so important that you demonstrate your belief because the more you believe in something, the more you believe in what you're doing, the more the universe supports your belief. Also, belief is an internal thing. The more you believe, the more it radiates outwards. Because as we know, everything is energy. And when you have a positive mindset, positive energy, which links to your belief, believe me, the universe actually enables the attraction in terms of your belief system. Another thing I want to talk about is celebrating your failures. Yes. I this woman is mad. How could I celebrate my failure? Why should I celebrate my failure? This is extremely important to educators. You need to enable students to see failure in a very positive life. Light. Sorry. A very positive light. And the more they see the positiveness in failure, the more they'll be able to embrace it and they will not fear it. We need to make them feel comfortable with the failures and be comfortable in the failure and enable them to see failure as a learning opportunity and failure as, an, as something saying to them, you need to seek alternative. Also, failure enable them to practice again because they obviously didn't practice enough. That's why they have failed. So which means that you need to practice some more so that you become good at it or better at it. So that is what failure is also teaching. Failure also demonstrating that there are alternative to what you were seeking. So maybe what you were seeking isn't seeking you. Maybe what you're seeking, you need to seek something that is different. You need to seek an alternative which you were never forced to do because you never failed. So as a result of failing, you actually find an alternative and finding up with various opportunities, which might be there and have always been there, but because you've never failed, you've never been forced to find alternative. So that's what failure does. 
It enables you to see the learning involved. It enables you to see the opportunity. It enables you to see the possibility. It enables you to step out of your comfort zone because you need to find something else. So you need to step out of your comfort zone. It also enables you to be determined. I say that um, half-heartedly because some people are not very determined due to the failure, they give up. But failure is meant to make you more determined to find out what you want, to seek it and to celebrate it. Hence the reason why I say you need to celebrate failure because it's enable you to embrace it and see that it is okay. It is okay to fail. It is okay not to get it right because guess what? You are learning from that. I remember, um, um, oh gosh, what's his name? Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Oh, oh I can't remember his name. Where he said that he did not fail because he's um, a number of the people say to him that, oh, you, you know, you're trying to, to do the light bulbs, you fail, you know, you're going to cause an explosion. He slipped the mind who it was. You know, you're going to cause an explosion, etc. He said that I did not fail. It just showed me ways that it didn't work, but it gave me an alternative. So it just shows 1,000 ways of what didn't work. So that's not a failure. That is showing you alternative. And that's something we need to um, embed in our student to make them not see failure as a stopgap, as something negative. We need to make them see failure as something to embrace, something to seek alternative from, and something to learn from, something to build from as a foundation, which they, as a stepping stone or foundation which they actually step up from or build upon. So that is the beauty of failing. It's enabled learning to take place, enable you to step out of your comfort zone. Because when you think of it, when you as an adult fail an exam, what is that saying to you? That you didn't revise well enough or you did not understand the topic. So what you want to do, you then go back and read over the topic. You then go back and practice a bit more. That's what failing does. It enables you to have time to practice some more, to step out of your comfort zone, to see the beauty that you didn't see, to see the alternative, to see the learning, to see the possibility, and also to be determined. So educators, I want you to see and enable your student not to see failure as something negative, but to see failure as something positive from which you need to build from, from which you need to step up from, from which you need to, um, to seek alternative on and celebrate it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for listening. Stay care, take care, stay blessed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.